Lubna and Pebble by Wendy Medower and Daniel Agnes. Lubna's best friend was a pebble. It was shiny and smooth and gray. Lubna found it on the beach when they arrived in the night. Then she fell asleep in Daddy's salty arms. When Lubna opened her eyes, it was morning. They had landed in a world of tents. Lubna cl clutched her daddy's hand and gripped her pebble. Somehow, she knew they'd keep her safe. In a big white tent, Lubna found a felt-tip pin. She drew a happy face on her pebble. Hello, Pebble, whispered Lubna. Pebble smiled back. Lubna told Pebble everything, about her brothers, about home, about the war. Pebble always listened to her stories. Pebble always smiled when she felt scared. I love you, Pebble, Lubna said with a sigh. Then the winter arrived. The winds began to blow. The tents began to flap. Daddy said, come close. I'll keep you warm. But Lubna was worried. What if Pebble gets a cold? That must never happen, said Daddy. He went out and found a shoebox and a tea towel. Thank you, Lubna grinned. Then she put a, then she put Pebble to bed and kissed it goodnight. Soon a little boy arrived. At first he had no words, just blinks and sneezes and stares. This is my friend Pebble, Lubna said. The little boy coughed and sneezed, then smiled. Hello, Pebble. My name's Amir. Lubna and Amir became friends. They played hide-and-seek underneath the stars. But at bedtime, Lubna whispered to Pebble, You are still my best friend. One day, Daddy was beaming. We are leaving. We have found a new home. Lubna felt happy, then sad. Amir cried. That night, Lubna couldn't sleep. She asked Pebble what to do. Pebble didn't answer. But by the morning, Lubna knew. Lubna gave Amir the shoe, the shoe box with Pebble and the pen. What do I do if you, if Pebble misses you? Asked Amir. Draw the smile back on, said Lubna. And what do I do if I miss you? Tell Pebble all about it, Lubna said. Amir nodded and held 
held the shoe box tight. Goodbye, Pebble, Lubna whispered. Hello, Pebble, Amir said. 